Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Star Wars Theory. You guys are blowing my minds here. Almost 1,000 new subs in 8 hours. How is this even happening? Is this a dream? This is all because of you guys, and I can't appreciate you enough. I'm just the man behind the curtain here, and without any of you, this wouldn't be happening. So once again, my fellow Jedi and Sith, thank you. Let's begin today's episode. Today we will talk about something I find very cool. Have you ever been asked by a friend or even by yourself, which side would you choose? Would you choose to become a Jedi, leading the path of the light as a guardian and keeper of the peace? Or would you choose the path of destruction, hatred, and violence, striking fear into anyone who dares to cross your path as a Sith Lord? I myself have asked and been asked this question many times, and my answer is always the same. This was before I knew this actually existed. I would without a doubt be a great Jedi. I would be a Jedi, however, I would not be as quiet, subdued, and controlled in certain moments that required me to use some darker abilities. That's the topic of this video. Who and what were the Grey Jedi? A Grey Jedi is a Force user who has rejected the discipline of the Jedi Order, but also the teachings of the Sith. They're not dark nor are they light, but claim to have found a balance between the two. Hence the term Grey. I find this very debatable for the Jedi and Sith alike, as we see in Return of the Jedi, Luke completely harnessed the dark side to bring down Vader. When you see him slice off his father's hand after Vader had already fallen to his knees in complete defeat, Luke did not stop aggressively and hatefully beating him down. This was more than just acting in my opinion. I'm positive George Lucas had directed Hamill to strike down with such ferocity and anger in that scene to demonstrate the ability to use the dark side when needed, and to possibly create foreshadowing for anything he had planned to come. We also see Vader in The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, who never went full power on his son. He could have finished him off in Episode 5, but he never did. Even though he said, He will join us or die. And subsequently never killed him after Luke refused to turn. It was the Emperor who had attempted to finish the job on Luke by using his Force Lightning until Vader took control of the situation, using his feelings and turning to the light side of the Force in his atonement of death. I think only the most powerful Jedi are able to harness the dark side powers without turning completely, achieving the best of both worlds. As another example, Master Yoda, able to absorb Force Lightning. It is well known in the EU that in order for you to do this, you need to learn how to use Force Lightning yourself, and we all know that's a trait the Sith use. We also know, and if you haven't seen my video discussing this, I'll link it in the description below and in the end of this video as an annotation that Yoda has battled tremendously through almost 900 years of life with temptations to turn to the dark side. I highly recommend you watch the video, it has some good facts and some good theories. For a final example, we actually see Darth Sidious allude to the Grey Jedi in Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith, where he constantly hints to Anakin that a knowledgeable Jedi must know all sides of the Force, and not just the dogmatic, narrow-minded view of the Jedi. And that, as the Chosen One, he could balance both sides to his dismay. Qui-Gon Jinn, in the definition of a true textbook goody two-shoes Jedi, leaned more towards that of a grey Jedi in my opinion, since he not only gambled, but cheated by using the Force on the Chance Cube for Anakin's benefit in Episode 1. He also went against the Council's decision to train Anakin and have Obi-Wan become his next master. This doesn't mean he used the dark side, it merely means he altered a situation to his will for what he thought was the greater good for the galaxy. Then again, this can also be argued as Jedi use their mind tricks to get their way. So it's a constant circle of debate, which I look forward to you all doing in the comments below. I'll chime in and I'm looking forward to your thoughts on this. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the lightsaber contest coming out in a couple weeks. Some of you messaged me on the Facebook page asking when the deadline is. I'll make it very fair so you have lots of time to enter. With all that said, I hope you all have a fantastic and health-filled day or night wherever you all are watching this. And once again, I can't thank you all enough for your support. You're absolutely amazing, and I love you all. Be safe, my fellow Jedi and Sith. Think deep and judge well. And as always, may the Force be with you.